everyone. Here's what happened on 70 land 3 March 2021. Bonita and Vanessa came back and the nanny told them that they were robbed. They took her phone and they also took one of their laptop. She said the man pointed her a gun and the kids are fine. They are sleeping. She doesn't know how he got in because she locked the door. Vanessa said she saved their children and they are grateful for that and called the police. Bonita asked if she can identify the man. She said he covered his face. She was in a shock state. Barson also went to Eggie's house and tried to steal things. The alarm went on. The security came to Vince's house and Barson found a way to hide. Marco found Eggie and told her that they broke into their house but it doesn't look like they have taken something and he was distracted by the securities. They have broken a window and he fixed it. Eki thanked him for letting her know. He said he must enjoy the holiday with Vince. Lissetti came to Stasis. Marco told what happened at Eki's place. Lissetti said she didn't know. Vanessa's house was also affected and said two breakings in one night. Just imagine that. Marvin also joined them and said it looks like someone is targeting Hillside. Lissetti said they can't just allow that. They need to do something. Marvin said he will organize a meeting for the community and the forum. Vanessa cancelled all the meetings she had and said she misses Eggie already. Bonita said she's so exhausted. Vanessa also said she's tired. Police took their time and she couldn't wait for them to leave. She can't even sleep. Bonita told her that every noise makes her jump and how did the guy got in. Vanessa said she's worried about that. Bonita said she fears for the children and she will beef up the security. Vanessa was upset of making her house like a prison. Bonita couldn't understand why would anyone attack the nanny and the kids. Vanessa said maybe he knew that they were not at home. Bonita said maybe he's, he's watching them. Vanessa bought herself a pepper spray. Someone knocked and she panicked and sprayed the pepper spray and it was Lissetti. Bonita had to call an ambulance. Marco had the meeting with the hillsiders and they discussed a way forward to protect hillside and they also said they will start patrolling at night. Emil visited said Connie. Connie suggested that they should hang out sometimes. He said he has no problem. He's living in Johannesburg now. Connie asked him why he's single because he's got the looks. He said he went out with a couple of guys that are into clubs. He's just not that person. Connie said he must be patient. He will meet someone one day. Emil asked her what about her relationship with Andre. She said they are still together and it's nothing ideal but love conquers all. Lana came to the boutique and Emil left. Lana asked her if she knows him. She said yes, he used to work for her and she was a horrible boss. But he is so kind, he still visits her and asked Lana how she knows him. She said she was interviewing him about his feeding scheme. Connie said he has a heart of gold and has a full-time job on top of that. She wishes young people can be like him. Ivy saw someone that looked like her angel at the belief and went to see him. The guy quickly left and couldn't get to him on time. Vanessa and Lissetti went to open coffee. Vanessa was hating herself for spraying Lissetti and apologized countless times. Lissetti said it's okay. Denzel asked Vanessa how she's doing after what happened. She said she's okay. They also checked up the security. Connie also joined them. Vanessa also told them that she's grateful he didn't hurt the kids and the nanny. Denzel said they will start patrolling tonight and they are ready for him. Barson went to homeless people and tried to offer them work. Emil came to give them food and said he's new he doesn't know him person said he wasn't there for food he wants someone but that person is not available emil said he would like to help if he can give him a name he said it's fine and left marianne told the family that marco thinks it's a syndicate once they've stolen something they move to the next area they said they should dare try again they will catch them they are patrolling at night alexa was worried about his dad's safety and asked him why can't they leave it to police Rekha said they also need to do some action. These guys are dangerous. Marianne said they have to beef up the security and she has never thought that Hillside could be so dangerous overnight. Vanessa and Bonita said they will buy the nanny, the phone and the tablet. It's the least that they can do after she looked after their children. Marco called Bonita to open the door for him. He then explained that he will be patrolling with Denzel. Bonita thanked them and said she will sleep tonight. Person is planning to break in at the Valman's house. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get more episodes on the channel. 105 Online Channel loves you. Bye, good people.